All right, folks, this is the moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for. For four days now, or five days now, but too much time and money and everything put into this. So I'm here, I'm gonna attempt to turn my deck into wax. But in order to do that, I gotta make a mold. I'm gonna take this scooter apart, and we're gonna try to make this into some wax, but I don't know how it's gonna go. So I got the deck taken off now, and now I have to take off the grip tape so it's completely smooth. We have the deck, it has been washed, so that way all the dust and everything is off of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create the seam line in it, and basically what that means is it's the seam line that defines the top half of the mold from the bottom half of the mold. We're gonna do that by putting it in some clay, and just watch me as I do it, because I don't really know what I'm doing. So I got my clay right here, it's a big lump, and I'm gonna start making the surrounding wall that runs around the deck for the mold. Let's do it. So you can see right here that we have the deck inside of the clay. It's exactly halfway in the clay, so you can see that half of it is out and the other half is in. Um, this is gonna make a good parting line because, I mean, I, I hope it will. Um, yeah, now we're gonna mix the silicone and put it together. All right, so next is the silicone time. So basically when I make the silicone, I have to mix this and this together into this jar and then mix it up with a knife and stir it on up. All right, I'm pouring in yellow contents one. For this specific silicone, it's a one-to-one -one ratio mix. I should be wearing gloves right now, but I'm not. So if you do this, wear gloves. All right, so now we have this mixed up and we're gonna start applying it to the deck. And let's start at the back first. Just thick paint. After going back and watching this, I realized that I needed to make the silicone a little bit thicker when I painted it on. When you paint it on, make sure that you do the silicone painting in increments. Paint a little bit on, let it dry. Paint a little bit more on, let it dry. Paint a little bit more on, let it dry. Do it in coats. I did it all at once, and this is a no-go because all of the silicone will just be, be super thin along your deck or whatever else you're doing it on. What is up? All right, it is the second day right now, and I have put the first layer of silicone on. It looks pretty fantastic. So this is what we're working with right now. You can see that the deck is completely covered in silicone. It is 100% covered and, I don't know, it feels like an iPhone case or something. But what we're gonna do now is basically put this harder shell that goes on the outside of the actual silicone. This is called the mother mold. And what I'm gonna do with that is, um, cover it and then put more silicone on it. Just watch the process, let's do it. Free form air, oh my gosh. The struggle was so real opening this container. Like the silicone, this is a one to one ratio mix. I'm only using half for the first layer because I need to do two separate coats on the scooter deck. Right now I'm spraying with a spray so that way the outer coat won't stick to the actual silicone. Now I'm just applying the mother mold or the free foam air to the silicone and placing it all around. This stuff kind of feels like Play-Doh and it's really cool to, to form it. I would highly recommend using this freeform air if you guys plan to do something. I apply the freeform air all along the deck, trying to make it super smooth. I make sure I don't go over the midline or onto the clay because this mold is a half and the other half needs to be seamlessly fitting onto it. It's the next day now, and now I take off the clay. The clay is kind of hard to take off um, just because it likes to be in every single nick and cranny. So make, when you take it off, make sure you spend a little bit of time and effort really making sure all the clay is off. As you can see, I'm using a knife and just scraping it all away. Now I have some can of air and I'm just spraying away all the little bits and fragments. Now I get my silicone mix, the same kind that I had in the first clip, and I'm mixing it up, spraying on that spray so that way the silicone won't stick to the other silicone, and now I'm pouring the silicone on. Once again, I would like to do this in multiple increments, not just pouring all of it on, Although it looks kind of cool, the silicone will then leak off the sides like it is right now, 
and it'll just be better if you do it in smaller coats and get it more thoroughly covered because as you can see the back of the deck right now is a little bit yellow and it should be completely that blue color and not thin, a thin coat. Now I am mixing up the next layer of freeform air. It is the next day and because it had dried in that Home Depot bucket I was using I have to use the actual freeform air bucket but it's okay because I'm just going to throw it away. Now I'm just doing exactly what I did to the other half now and just putting it all on the whole deck making it nice and smooth making sure not to go over that midline it's time to get the deck out of the freeform air and silicone unfortunately when i'm taking it apart i crossed the midline a little bit so the deck didn't fully come out of the mold all in one piece um, i had to break it off into several pieces and the silicone came out pretty good All right, what's up guys? So I'm here and basically what I have to do right now is glue together the entire mold. I kind of screwed up on it a little bit and I didn't quite make it perfect. So I had to disassemble it in pieces. This isn't the end of the world though. I just gotta glue it back together and glue my parts together and we'll make the wax screw deck. So let's do it. Now, like I said, I'm just gluing together the entire deck. Right here, I'm using super glue, but I ultimately found out that you're gonna need a lot of super glue. I got two containers, but that still wasn't enough. So I ended up using hot glue. I was kind of concerned about using hot glue because I was scared that when I poured in the hot wax, the hot wax would melt the hot glue and the whole mold would just fall apart. But it ended up working pretty well. Um, I just ended up putting the mold together like a puzzle and gluing it all back together. So that way, both of the halves will then seamlessly fit together. It could be a little bit better. I could have spent a little bit more time on it and made it a little bit more perfect. So these are each half of the molds right here. I got them all separated out. Now basically what I have to do is put them together, tape it up, and put some wax into it. I'm just gonna point out the obvious right now. This is pretty much the ugliest thing I've ever made. But all it has to do is make a wax deck. Hopefully it works. I, I, at this point, I have no idea. If this does end up working, it's gonna be a miracle. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, first a little bit of tape. Now it's time to taper on up. So I just taped up the entire thing, and uh, this is what it looks like. Hopefully there'll be no leaks on this because the entire thing is basically sealed. But yeah, basically what I gotta do now is heat up some candles, make it into a wax form, or like the wax liquid, and then just pour it into this pour hole right here. And hopefully it'll make the wax scooter deck. I don't know though. All right, so we're in the kitchen now, and I have the taped up molded scooter deck mold. We're gonna fill it up with wax right now, but in order to do that, I'm gonna need a few things. I'm gonna need candles, got a lot of them. I'm gonna need pan to cook the wax in. If you're planning on doing this, you're going to absolutely ruin this pan, so make sure you get one that you don't mind ruining. The next thing you'll need is another pot filled about halfway with water, and then what you do is you heat up this bottom pot, put the wax into this one, melt it through the boiling water, and then what I'm going to do, I got this pan specially for this. It has these nice little like grooves out of here. I'm going to pour the wax out of here into this funnel and this is gonna go into the hole of the deck and we're gonna have a wax scooter deck, hopefully. So let's do it. So this is what we're working with right now. We got a destroyed Volt Pro Scooters box. We got the deck, we got the funnel, we got the wax. As so I let the wax melt in here, this is a candle. Then I pour it into this funnel, then it goes and it funnels down into the deck. But unfortunately, it's been leaking out of the bottom. 
So since it's been leaking out of the bottom, I actually think that it's working with me because it's leaking. And why I say that is because in all the parts that it's leaking over here, when it dries and cools, it will theoretically fill the gap. I just have to do this in increments. I have to like let the wax melt, pour it in, let it cool down, let the wax melt, pour it in, let it cool down. And eventually, we should hopefully have a wax scooter deck. All right, well, it's not leaking right now, so that's a good sign. Pouring in with the wax was actually super intense. Um, it would kind of like leak over the back of the pan so that way it would drip onto the ground. And also it was really hot and I was in my kitchen and cleaning up wax sucks. So it was a really intense moment. I know it doesn't look like it, but it was. <laughs> All right, Clayton is gonna be a part of this video if he answers. Sorry guys. Oh ho! Viewers, Clayton is in the video. Bye. Bye in Norwegian Island. So let's have island. You know we can buy an island. There's one on the market right now for like, I think it's like two grand. Bye, bye, bye Clayton. As you can see right here, I'm re-taping the top of the deck. I actually had to re-tape quite a bit of the deck while I was pouring all the wax in. It just kept leaking out the sides. But like I said, as I poured in the wax and it dried, all the holes got filled. So that way it worked out pretty well but I still had to tape it quite a bit and I lost quite a bit of wax onto the cardboard beneath. Alrighty, so we have a whole bunch of destroyed wax over here. We have the funnel that is pretty much completely filled with wax now. And we have the deck. We have so much wax covering it, like I can't even believe it. And then at the top, you can see it through that hole some glistening light, which means that the wax is all the way to the top. I also just poured some of the remaining molten wax into this little mold, so I'll have a, some extra wax pieces. Arizona theme. Here's the deck, we're gonna check on it in a few days. All right, folks, this is the moment. This is the moment we've been waiting for, for four days now, or five days now, and too much time and money and everything put into this. I'm just really hoping it works, because if it doesn't work, I'm going to be so disappointed. Yeah, okay. Well, so this is the deck right now. It is completely covered in wax from what you saw a few seconds ago. I was really struggling putting wax inside of it. But today, we're going to take it all apart, and hopefully, hopefully there's a wax scooter deck in here. Hopefully it doesn't look like a piece of crap. Yeah, okay, let's get into this. I'm so, okay, I, I like want to unwrap this, but I don't. Like. I don't want to unwrap this because I'm just scared that it's going to be such a failure, but I want to unwrap it because I'll never know if it's a failure or not if I don't unwrap it. So let's do it. Probably need to get a knife. There's so much wax intertwined with this tape that it's going to be really interesting to like take this apart. I don't even know how well it's going to go. cut myself. All right, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this now. I have just cut myself so now there's blood all over this deck. What I find amazing is between all the layers of tape, there's just like different increments of wax. Like the wax has like went through all the layers of tape, so it's pretty interesting. Taking off this tape was such a pain. <laughs> okay, I'm like actually bleeding now. <laughs> So, hold up. All right, we got the Band-Aid on. I must have wrapped like 50 letters of tape on it, like no doubt. Look at the pile next to me, it's just growing. All right, so this is the deck out of all of the tape. Um, now we just gotta get it out of this thing. Let's do it. Out of all the parts of making this wax scooter deck, I think that this end part right here of getting it out of the mold was the most difficult. It was really difficult because all of the wax itself was was clinging to the silicone and the mother mold, so that way pulling it apart was really difficult. The other difficult part was I had to be really gentle while taking it apart. I know that wax breaks pretty easily, and I didn't want to break into a million different segments, so I had to just basically, uh, 
break it apart really, really delicately. And even still, fragments of the deck broke apart and I had to ultimately end up gluing it back together. But it was really, really, really challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Another factor that made taking this deck out of the mold hard was that one of the halves of the mold was a little bit bigger than the other half. So taking the bigger half out of the mold was really difficult because it wasn't just as simple as pulling it off. I had to basically like deconstruct it, taking it off, which was a big pain. But fortunately, I was able to glue it all back together and it actually looks pretty decent. So it, it worked out. But I would not want to go through this process again. You can see me struggling, just pulling the deck out piece by piece. Um, I wish I could have gotten it all out in one enormous big piece but I, I feel like that's pretty much impossible. Ow! Doing it the way that I did it. All right, I got my second bandit on, we're all good. The first one fell off. I think that if I wanted to do it all in one piece, I would have to do the entire mold different from the start. This last part, getting the neck and the head tube out of this mold was so hard. For some reason, it had like clamped itself in, so that way it wasn't as simple as just pulling it out. I had to basically deconstruct the entire mold around it and smack it on the ground and like get it out. And I broke it a little bit more than I wanted to, which was kind of a bummer, but I ended up placing it all back together and getting all the final pieces out of the mold. Bam, and that's the deck. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna glue this thing all together and I'm gonna see how it looks. All right, folks, here it is the wax scooter deck. Almost completely made out of wax. It just has a little bit of hot glue down there just to keep everything together. But uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> I'm actually like pretty stoked on how it came out. It could have definitely, definitely been better. Like you can see that the top of the head tube is pretty much torn off and the bottom as well. But the neck looks really nice. Then it goes down and the dropouts look, I mean the front dropouts look nice. And the deck has a good consistency all the way through. The fender was like really hard to make because it was so thin, but, and the back dropouts were kind of thin as well, so that was hard to make. But other than that, I think the deck looks pretty fantastic. It looks pretty sweet. So, fail or win? What do you think? This is a fail, you think this is a win? I think it's both. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I'm actually out here right now chilling with the wax scooter deck. It's been a few days. It's looking pretty fantastic. It's kind of rough looking, but it's actual actual size. But wow, look at this thing. Hopefully I'm not too overly exposed, but um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let me know if you want to see anything else like this one. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you later. Peace out.